These images seen around the world in 2015, reportedly filmed by members of the so-called Islamic State, show men damaging and destroying ancient cultural artifacts in the city of Mosul in Iraq. Some of the works were thousands of years old. There's a growing trade in looted cultural artifacts from sites in Iraq, Syria and other parts of the world, with items ending up in auction rooms and private collections thousands of miles away. At the Council of Europe, talks are underway to try to protect cultural property and stop the illicit trafficking in cultural goods. The new uh, things now is that we criminalize all those who are taking part in this illicit trade, uh, be it uh, the smugglers, the dealers, the buyers, the fixers, all those who are involved in this. And of course this will uh, help uh, other member states to cooperate because they have a common standard and the courts have a common standard to make judgments in these uh, cases. So it will be a very important uh, new step in uh, combating uh, this illicit trade. It's linked to the uh, ethnic cleansing of uh, regions in the Middle East and therefore the international community could not stand by and uh, watch this happening without taking measures, in particular measures having to do with the fact that there would be no looters without buyers. We know that Council of Europe is legally, uh, really the legal space of uh, uh, European law and with so many important conventions. So we have accompanied uh, this work from the very beginning, uh, uh, apart from having close cooperation. And I'm uh, confident that we uh, should not only um, respect our uh, mandates, of course we are a global organization, uh, UNESCO, a global agency of the United Nations, but we should make sure that these conventions are really implemented, ratified, implemented, and see some very practical results of our work in synergy. The Council of Europe saw and heard firsthand the scale of the problem from the head of museums in Syria. Before the occupation of the ISIS in the first times, we transported the good party of the statues, about 400 uh, hundreds, uh, statues, uh, beautiful statues to Damascus, and many hundreds of uh, uh, small artifacts. In the, uh, after the liberation also, we evacuated about the totality of the National Museum of Palmyra, uh, all object, what uh, uh, damaged or no damaged. We reopened all the safe uh, places, and we transported all things to Damascus. Now it is under risk. I am sure we will receive new bad image about the destruction of new building in Palmyra. The Council of Europe also heard from the International Criminal Court's prosecutor, Fatou Bensouda. This man, Ahmad al faki al-Mahdi, pleaded guilty and was given a nine-year prison sentence for destroying nine mausoleums and a mosque in Timbuktu in Mali. This is the, uh, a very clear message that the International Criminal Court is sending, that these are very serious crimes. Destruction of these buildings are very serious. Targeting these buildings, which are not military targets, but uh, buildings, as I said, that are dedicated to religion and culture and history, is a war crime and that they will not go unpunished. It's hoped that a new Council of Europe convention aimed at protecting cultural property and preventing the illicit trafficking in cultural goods will be open for signature by the middle of 2017.